we just tested the voltmeter. Now let's go to the frequency counter. Um, we had the probe here. It's a uh, it's a 15 megahertz probe, which is fine, but um, it's a. Uh, One X fifteen megahertz Tektronix P sixty one oh one B. So anyway, I'm gonna put this on the Tektronix oscilloscope over here. Uh, Brian gave me this one. It takes a little while to warm up sometimes, but it seems to be okay. I haven't really done any testing with it. In fact, this is what I use it for. Um, it's got a one kilohertz output and you can put that over here I've got this on the highest resolution which is 0.1 Hertz and so 10184 that's pretty damn good okay for looking at certain signals um, now that kind of resolution with some digits on the other side would be another thing I don't know um, how many megahertz you'd even be able to read, if any at all. I think we just wouldn't display it. Um, but since I'm broken poor, this is really cool to find for five ninety nine, and it it just doesn't look like it. I don't. I can't get it to read anything on input B, but I'm not sure uh, without reading the manual if. Because it doesn't have like an A and B switch. It says frequency A. And then it, you push it in it says start A. And then that's for frequency. Then the P, P, E, R, that's period. And it says A. And then if you push it in, I think it says time A pointing to B. I don't know what that means. Um, over here by the channel B it says SEP or com a and so I, I really don't know what that means but anyway you see our number here this is going to update every 10 seconds so it's it's pretty stable okay it, it'll change a little bit but you're not going to see it rapidly changing because it's you know it's averaging it over a short period of time all right let's go over here to uh, my other hp counter that i bought at a ham fest last year and I don't really know a lot about this one. Uh, I think it works okay. I just don't know for sure. Uh, 